Hi, it's Lee at Craftsman Direct, and we are in Apex today, and our homeowner has asked that we study his house, and we find cracks, and we fill those cracks, and here's an example of a crack, and uh, we call that, I don't know, maybe number one, we have cracks in the trim here, uh, running down, and uh, I'm going to, underneath this front window, here's one, um, here's another, the caulk here doesn't look good, but there's not a lot we can do about that. So I want to follow my homeowner's instruction. Um, there's another one down here. And so uh, these are easy to get to because it doesn't take a lot of time. We kind of ladder the sides running top to bottom. And the spirit of the exercise probably is to keep water out the house. And, um, Mr. Chen, it's not my role here to upsell you, but I just wanted to let you know that the black that you see here is mold, and pressure washing your house is one of the things that you can do that's very inexpensive, that takes good care of it. Another one is sealing this wood. It would prevent cracks like this and, um, <clears throat> things that I do. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Also that. But uh, get a good coat of paint on that. And um, if you would ever like quotes for these things, please just let us know. And uh, a house is going to demand maintenance. And I'd like to keep that maintenance on the cheap end, which is preventative. But um, let me back up. All right. Um... I'm zooming to look at the bottom of the trim board. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can see seams and all the ones in the triangle, they're one piece. And I've got a monitor I'm going to bring this back to and look very closely. And everything up here is going to carry no seams because the distances are very short. But where we're going to catch seams is on the next piece. And let's take a peek. Uh, Jason said pretty much all. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. The run between the windows are short. They won't carry seams. And I, I agree with your assessment. Jason, you go to the head of the class today. You, uh. Well, no, I didn't say you could have a cookie. You have to have two right answers to get a cookie. But, uh. All right. Steve is, uh. Check your uh, check your trim boards, Mr. Chen. I think has got a. Uh, I found the paint, but I'm not sure it's still good enough. Yeah, but you got a code that has separated. I would not paint your house with okay, that. Okay, yep, but new. let me let me get a picture yep, and we'll got, set it back on top. Um, actually, I've got better than a picture. I've got Sherwin Williams, a Sherwin Williams color called six one three six, Grassland, and there's the code grassland um, and that paints eight years old I would rather not use it yep. so let's it's good quality paint though. it really is yeah it's been eight years yeah okay years. another important point is that we see the word satin on it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right I'm gonna let you have that back thank you okay. so much for that help and okay. we're we're continuing our study and I'm gonna give you a copy of this video it helps us help you. And we seems. Trim board also. Seems. Brick mold in that corner. What did you find, Steve? In that corner is separated from brick mold. Okay. All right. Jason, how many seams you got over here? The whole house needs it on this side. The whole house needs it on this side. Every one I'm looking at is basically very similar to this. You got a separation. Um, This board. 
is we actually tighten it down. But you can. It's going to need to tighten it down because even if you cork it, it's going to pull it out. If it's moving, see that's firm. It's moving a little bit, but it doesn't want to move. Um, okay, but see, water can get between all those, except Jason's mentioned a tieback all the way up to the top. And uh, I like to look to the sides of the windows and the trim boards and the edges and under the fascias. And um, all right. Hey, I like that better. Okay. Forty seams. Okay. Same thing here. All right. Steve, you'd be surprised at how many houses we see with forty seams. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all of them. Yeah. I recommend a, a painable um, silicone. So if you know, if we can't, some of them look like you're just gonna have to put a, a screw or nail in it. Like like about four up, I agree. And start pulling out. I see. And you put all the corking in that seam all if you want. That's gonna pull out. It's sure. gotta be something that's gonna fall. That's I what agree. I say. You're right. I agree. And um, lots of companies make lots of good products. And I'm gonna. But uh. Um, and his windows have failed because I can't see through them. And um, they can, glass masters can pull that, or Dr. Glass can pull those, uh, those sashes out and replace them in his driveway. Uh, and, uh, um, the, uh, the deck mold is the green. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Slap him. Hard. He had a bug land on him and he slapped me. Like, I did. Yeah, but I got the bug. I got the bug. Um, but but the green is an algae. It, it, it is very destructive to wood. And, and here again, it's um, a pressure clean and um, <clears throat> sodium hypochlorite, which is a basic bleach at you know, probably 2 to 3%. Um, the homeowners can do that. We can do the whole house as well as the deck. Um, I'm, I'm not here to upsell you, but I don't want to see something that would help you and not bring it to your attention um, removing trees to up to 18 inches to two feet because what happens is you can imagine a hurricane force wind is an extreme example it, it would continuously slap the house and and I've seen it wear straight through siding and, and make holes and um, one of the things you can see actually from this vantage point is you see the the light areas and the dark areas and um, the dark areas is being a mold and, and, and if you've got a, um, a sunlight that can't reach this you see how dark it is here and you see the spots and that's mold and um, it's destructive to houses and um, <clears throat> but what I try to do is just to let you know I am a retired IT teacher public schools and uh, my role here is to bring things to your attention is quote the job you ask but I don't want to tell you by not making suggestions of things that can improve basically with this you need to drill your hole and I think all the seams here are very similar to the rest of the house I I don't know why we would not have a, uh, a change in this but uh, anyhow um, Let's look at one of these. Hold it. Look close. It's already held. Way up there. See the gaping seam there. See what they did? They And uh, we would need to get a 40 foot ladder up to the top, except we don't have to quite get that far. Um, to the middle of the window area is where the seams start. Um, so probably a 32 from where I'm standing, roughly here, and I'm 10, 12 feet away. Um, and, uh, whew. all right, see, I see a seam 
over that window. We would need to get a ladder there. Probably one or two pieces of siding below, and we have to negotiate this tree. And I, I don't want to damage any anything here, so well, we'll be careful. Get a little bit of caulk on it and touch up with uh, with your correct color. Um, Mr. Ken, I've got a video here of our laugh. I kind of talk out some things that I've seen and um, identified the seams and kind of work through the methodology of how we're going to do the repair. Um, let me stop this video.